everyone, it's me Doc Sami and welcome to my channel. For today's vlog, I am going to introduce to you a new series on my YouTube channel which is called as I Know You. In this series guys, we will be having episodes and we will be talking about eyeglasses, eye health, lenses, and everything about eyes. So today is our first episode and we will be talking today about cataract. What is a cataract? What are the signs and symptoms? What are the causes and also the possible treatment if you have cataract? So without further ado guys, let's get on to the video. Cataract guys is one of the most common causes of visual loss worldwide. Cataracts are very common among elderly people ages 40s and above. And alam nyo ba pag meron kayong cataract? At first, hindi nyo nanonotice na meron kayong katarata. But as it progress or habang lumalaki yung katarata, nagiging apektado na ang ating paningin or nagiging hazy na siya. So, ano nga ba tong katarata? Cataract, guys, is the clouding or opacification of our crystalline lens. And the crystalline lens is part of our eyes that is located posterior to the iris. Crystalline lens, guys, is responsible for the one-third of the refractive power of the eye. And alam niyo ba that our lens, supposedly and naturally, it is transparent and flexible. Yung lente ng mata natin, guys, dito dumadaan yung rays of light papunta sa ating retina. And sa retina, dun yung image na nabubuo. Also, yung lens ng mata natin, nag yung shape niya. Uh, ang purpose dito guys, because our lens, again, is responsible for focusing. And pag nagpo-focus yung lens na mata, ng mata natin, nag talaga yung shape niya para mag-adjust or para mag-focus. What happened kung meron tayong cataract? Of course, yung lens ng mata natin nagiging cloudy. Hindi na siya clear and transparent. And pag ganito yung nangyari sa lens ng mata natin, of course, yung light na pumapasok sa mata natin at dumadaan sa ating lente, hindi na ganun kalinaw pagdating sa ating retina. So, yung imahe or yung image na nabubuo sa retina is hindi na ganun kalinaw. And of course, kasi yung lens na mata natin pag merong katarata, tumitigas na din siya or hindi na din siya flexible. Pag ganito guys, mahihirapan talagang mag-change ng shape yung eyes natin and mahihirapan siyang mag-focus. That's why if you have cataract, napaka-apektado ng ating paningin. Nagiging hazy siya and nagiging blurry na siya. Now, what are the common causes or possible risk factors na magkaroon ka ng cataract. As I've said, as I've mentioned earlier, the cataract is age-related. But there are some risk factors na nakakapag-contribute sa pagkakaroon ng cataract. And isa na dito yung health condition. If you have uh, hypertension or diabetes, then mas may na makontrol ito para may was ang pagkakaroon ng cataract. And also, if you are obese, if you smoke or if you drink alcoholic beverages, then mas may na may wasan din siya para hindi ka magkakataract. And if your work is exposed to sunlight, like farmer, construction worker, or fisherman, then prone na prone sila sa pagkakaroon ng katarak. And if hereditary na talaga, hindi na talaga maiwasan, posible din na magkaroon ng katarak ang isang tao. Also, if uh, kaka-undergo mo ng eye surgery, then posible secondary yung katarak doon. Or even if na-accidente ka, then, posible din na magkakatarak ka, especially if na, for example, na sumpok ka or nasagi yung mata mo talaga na sobra yung impact, then may effect yan sa, siya sa crystalline lens natin. Also, if you're taking medicines like steroids, then steroids, guys, can contribute also to uh, cataract. So, paano maiiwasan ang pagkakaroon ng cataract? So, yung cause ng cataract, guys, do natin ba-base yung uh, prevention. So, if you have health conditions like hypertension, diabetes, mas mainam na pumunta kayo sa inyong physician para mabigyan kayo ng medication and makontrol ang pagtaas ng inyong blood pressure or blood sugar. And if you're obese, of course, have a healthy diet. If you are smoker or you drink frequently, then much better stop mo yung pag-iinom at pag-sisigarilyo mo. Also guys, if you are working outside or exposed kayo sa sunlight, mas mainam na mag-wear tayo ng eye protection like sunglasses or you wear your glasses or your photochromic eyeglasses para protected yung eyes natin against UV. And if you are taking medications like steroid, uh, magpakonsulta kayo sa physician nyo para ma-advise din kayo kung ano ba yung dapat na gawin. So, what are the treatment if you have cataract? 
napaka mabisa talagang treatment if you have cataract is cataract surgery. So, again guys, ang pinaka dapat nyo gawin first is magpakonsulta kayo sa eye doctor and after that, eh, the eye doctor will assess if you have cataract or ano yung location and severity ng cataract nyo. So, sila yung mag advice kung uh, for cataract surgery na ba kayo or for medication muna. And kami guys, as an optometrist, again, we do not operate cataract. Hindi po kami nag-oopera. Ang nag-oopera po doon is yung mga ophthalmologist. What we can do as um, an optometrist, we help the patient for early detection of cataract. We also give the patient eyeglasses if kaya pang mag-improve ng eyeglasses, ng eyeglasses yung eyesight ng pasyente. And we help the patient understand their, their situation. So, yun yung role namin as an optometrist. If we observe that the patient has a cataract, so nire-refer namin siya sa ophthalmologist. Kaya pa siyang i-correct ng eyeglasses, binibigyan namin ng eyeglasses yung pasyente. But in worst case, guys, like hinug na talaga yung katarata na sobrang laki na ng katarata, ay hindi na siya kaya namin na palinawin yung mata with the help of eyeglasses, then that's the time we refer it to ophthalmologist para mabigyan na sila ng schedule or ma-assess na kung for cataract surgery na ba sila. Again guys, delaying of cataract surgery will not affect the vision. Kasi minsan hindi pa inooperan agad yung mata. Especially kung bago pa lang yung cataract or hindi naman siya nakaka-apekto sa paningin ng pasyente. And may mga patient ako na natatakot magpa-cataract surgery. Guys, cataract is a minor operation. And syempre may anesthesia naman dyan. And safe naman yung cataract. Ang ginagawa kasi dyan guys, pinapalitan yung lente na merong katarata ng artificial lens. So, of course, pag napalitan na yun, may possibility mag-improve ang ating paningin. And ito yung uh, isa pa, uh, akala kasi na iba, after nila mag-operation, is babalik na yung paningin nila. Guys, depende yan sa result ng operation nyo. And, of course, hindi 100% yung result. Like, nasa 70-80% yung result. Depende po yan sa mata natin. So, mas mainam after ng cataract surgery, magpa-eye check pa din para makunan ng grado yung mata natin. Okay? So, huwag kayong matakot if you have cataract. Kasi cataract, guys, is treatable. Though, it can cause visual loss, but it's what we call irreversible blindness. Yung cataract is natitreat, and may chance na mawala after surgery. So, hindi siya nakakabahala. Hindi siya talaga nakakabulag. Okay? So, I guess that's it, guys. Okay? That's our vlog for today. And thank you for watching my vlog. So, if you're, uh, if you're curious or if you have some questions, Please feel free to comment down below and again, thank you for watching my vlog and see you on our next episode dito sa I Knows It. Again, goodbye and thank you.